What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very well. We're talking about hunters. We're talking about hunters. We're going to do Survival Hunter today. The big hunter changes have come through. I will do a whole video talking about the class tree, but today I want to talk about Survival Hunter and the fact that I, I truly believe Survival is back, baby. I think it's really back in a big way. Um, this tree um, has fixed basically all the problems that uh, existed beforehand. <clears throat> Dead talents that were giving us like critical strike damage, like 4% crit damage for two points. Um, uh, other talents that just didn't like synergize very well together and didn't form a kind of a cohesive idea of what's going on. So now they've really done that. They've taken Survival Hunter and they've said, listen, we're going to get rid of everything that doesn't really relate to what we think survival hunter should be and they've decided that you're basically going to be a bombardier you're going to be a bomber man it's going to be all about explosions and wildfire bombs and it's less about like serpent sting i mean serpent sting is is gone in the sense that it's not on the class tree anymore you do still get it we'll talk about that in a minute but it's really focused a lot on bombs you're really all about kind of the bombs and you do have some pet stuff obviously going on with kill command still but I just want to give you the TLDR that this build focuses a lot on explosive shot and on bombs. When you're talking about AOE damage, that's what you're doing. You're like a bomber man now. So <clears throat> that's really cool. And I think that um, it's it's really just a better identity. You're less kind of spread out in your damage profile. And you can really focus on kind of what's going on. So let's go dive into everything that's going on here. First of all, there is a brand new mastery. Okay. You and your pet deal more damage, and then you also take less damage. Now, this is not scaling. The damage reduction is not scaling. So it looks to me like it's just a flat 6% DR. And if you want to get any more DR, you're going to have to obviously scale your versatility. I was hoping that you could scale the mastery and it would scale the damage reduction. That does not seem to be happening. Um, you have to be within 25 yards of your pet, and it gives you a bigger bonus. So if I walked away from my pet, this bonus would drop to 3% DR. Um, so... You can scale the damage portion of this, but you can't scale the defense portion, which I really don't like, actually. I really wish you could have scaled it. But straight up, we are just more tanky now. We are tankier than we were before by 6%, which is awesome. As a survival hunter, it kind of makes sense, right? So really glad they added that in. On top of that, the survivability of hunter has just gone up in general. I'll talk about this in a different video, but we get the extra healing and cooldown reduction on our exhilaration still. We also get cooldown reduction on survival of the fittest. And then we get two charges of survival of the fittest. So it's insane. Our camouflage can be used as a damage reduction as well now. Um, there's just a lot going on here. Uh, that is in terms of your, your damage reduction, uh, which is awesome. You take 6% less damage from area of effects stuff still. That's still in here. You have Roar of Sacrifice. Your pet can protect you and keep you safe. So on the tanky side of things, with our mastery and with the new class tree, we are very tanky now, actually. Um, we're, we're sitting pretty. Honestly, it's looking really good. Now, let's look at uh, this new bomber playstyle that I've been talking about, okay? It really centers around Grenade Juggler, which is uh, Wildfire Bomb, deals 5% increased damage, has a 25% chance to reset the cooldown on Explosive Shot. So this is all about Explosive Shot and Wildfire Bombs kind of working together because Explosive Shot also reduces the cooldown of Wildfire Bomb, which is great. Your new Coordinated Assault cooldown, the base cooldown Coordinated Assault um the 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 stuff that happens in here is the exact same as it was before the cooldown has gone down to one minute because of some uh symbiotic adrenaline which is amazing you have a one minute coordinated assault now you could also take relentless primal ferocity which is more of a single target um take on it i'll talk about this in a second but what i really want to talk about is bombardier they reworked bombardier when you cast coordinated assault you get two charges of wildfire bomb okay that's the same when coordinated assault ends explosive shot has its cooldown reduced and its focus cost reduced by 100%. That means you can spam explosive shots once this ends. Right now, my haste is terrible. So I can only get four explosive shots out. But that's still four explosive shots, which is a lot of uncapped AoE damage that we're doing, right? We have a ton of uncapped AoE damage. Our bombs are uncapped. Uh, butchery is uncapped. Explosive shot is uncapped. We are... You know, Fury of the Eagle is uncapped. So... 
tons of uncapped AoE options that way, and Explosive Shot is at the center of it. This is this bomber play style that we're going to be really enjoying, okay? Now, speaking of the bombs themselves, they got rid of Wildfire Infusion the way that it was before. Now, Wildfire Infusion just um, is a couple of other talents kind of mixed together. Um, and they basically, your bomb is now only a shrapnel bomb. That's the blue bomb that puts a bleed on enemies when you hit them with butchery or mongoose bite. So you are now maintaining a dot. This is sort of like having Lacerate back from Legion. If you guys ever played Legion Survival Hunter, they had this really cool bleed called Lacerate. This kind of feels like that to me. Obviously, we've had Shrapnel Bomb for a long time. I'm just saying like... This is the only focus that the bombs have now. They do their fire damage over time, and then they also apply this bleed, and you can keep the internal bleeding buff going, which is the shrapnel bomb bleed. You can basically keep it up permanently now because you're not focused on throwing a red pheromone bomb or a green volatile bomb, and then having to think about, like, what am I doing with those bombs? You're only focused on the one blue bomb now. So that's it's got this singular focus now, which is really cool. I know it doesn't show up very well in this tooltip, but this is the way it works. You have Shrapnel Bomb. Um, you have this little mini game of keeping your internal bleeding up, which is kind of nice, okay? Fury of the Eagle is the exact same as it was before. It actually hasn't changed at all, but it has a little bit more significance now because it cools down your Wildfire Bomb, and your Wildfire Bombs have a chance to give you an explosive shot every time you throw them, right? So it's like there's this cycle where Fury of the Eagle is just a good, like, big DPS button that you can press in mass AoE, but it also has that additional utility of cooling down your bombs, and now there's a better reason to cool down your bombs versus, like, old Survival Hunter, which you had too many bomb charges with old survival hunter anyway and now it feels like fury of the eagle has a really good place where you dump your bombs you press fury it gives you like one and a half bombs back you dump your bombs you get a proc on your explosive shot you send the explosive shot then you jump into coordinated assault and then you do your damage you get two bomb charges back you throw your bombs inside coordinated assault maybe you get another proc on explosive shot and you get it back again do you see what i'm like this this sort of bomber explosion loop um, just keeps on going and it's supported by Fury of the Eagle now in a better way than it was before, which is awesome. Okay. Serpent Sting is still alive in Viper's Venom. This is uh, Raptor Strike and Mongoose Bite will apply it there. They always apply it every single time. So your uptime on this is pretty high. Here's another cool one. Reapplying Serpent Sting to a target also spreads it to two nearby enemies. Very cool. So you actually get some Serpent Sting cleave. And remember, Serpent Sting technically counts as a spender. So it should, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore, actually. Never mind, the mastery's changed. So it's just going to do more damage, period. It does a lot of damage. It ends up doing a lot of damage. Now, you can also cleave with Mongoose by now. And I want to talk about how this introduces, like, an additional damage type, like an additional damage profile for Survival Hunter. We have our mass AoE that's going on, okay? With our explosive shots, with our wildfire bombs, with our butchery, with our Fury of the Eagle, okay? Lots of mass AoE. But if you're in a dungeon where you really need to do, like, cleave priority damage, you now have a new talent called Merciless Blows. Casting Butchery makes your next Raptor Strike or Mongoose Bite hit three targets. Those three targets that get hit, if you have Mongoose Bite, if you have, like, five stacks of Mongoose Fury, each one of the targets that gets hit will receive a full-blown Mongoose Bite at those five stacks of Mongoose Fury. So you can, like, ramp this up and then start cleaving with it and doing crazy amounts of damage, kind of like an Obliterate for Frost DK, which is really cool. On top of that, your Mongoose Bite will apply Serpent Sting. And if, it, if the target already has Serpent Sting on them, it will keep spreading it. So, like, if you have a pack of 10 mobs... You can press Butchery and then Mongoose Bite, and that will put three Serpent Stings out. And then you go Butchery, Mongoose Bite again on those same targets, and that will spread a Serpent Sting from each of those three targets to two other targets. So you will very quickly cover the entire pack in Serpent Stings now, which is really, really cool. Okay? So a really cool new DPS profile there with um, three target cleave. You also get three target cleave with Flanking Strike now. So this is really cool. Flanking Strike does damage, and it benefits from tip of the spear. We're going to talk about tip of the spear in a second. If you take exposed flank, your flanking strike um, makes the target, exposes the defenses, increase the damage of that kill command by 10% and causing your kill commands to hit two additional nearby enemies for 10 seconds. So you open up a little kill command window whenever you use flanking strike, and this allows you to cleave with kill commands as well. So you have two options for cleave. If you're running pack leader, 
your kill commands are juiced up, right? So this might be a thought. If you're running pack leader, you might want to run flanking strike and get exposed flank. I tried it, I think, on the dummies, and it didn't seem that amazing to me. But maybe the pack leader will get a couple of buffs, and it might end up being a lot better. So two different cleaving options, which is really, really cool. Okay, very nice. Second last thing I want to talk about, spearhead got reworked. You and your pet charge the enemy applying a heavy bleed that increases your critical strike chance against that target by 30%. Okay, that's really good. If you take Deadly Duo, it reduces the cooldown of Spearhead down to a one-minute cooldown. Okay, so now we'll have two one-minute cooldowns and a 45-second cooldown. Okay. This also makes Deadly Duo or um, Spearhead increase your critical strike damage. So you get 30% crit, 30% crit damage. Very, very good for single target, even just for the buffs alone. The bleed that this thing applies was not very inspiring to me. I didn't think it was that great. Um, but it, I'm, it'll, it, the numbers can get buffed. You know, we're, we're still in the, in the, in the beta here. So I like spearhead now. I think it's great. It was way, it's way better than having this convoluted, like, oh, your kill command, uh, re, you know, does more resets than it normally does. And then your mongoose bite now puts a bleed on enemies. It's like, there's too many buttons to press. Just make it do something cool. And they did that, which is really, really cool. Okay. Speaking of the bleeds, you still have Bloodshed, or Bloodseeker, sorry, which means you're going to gain attack speed for each nearby bleeding enemy. And guess what? Your Wildfire Bomb is always a blue bomb, so it's always putting that internal bleeding on nearby enemies as long as you hit them with a Butchery. So, like, you're always getting the Bloodseeker attack speed bonus, which is really, really cool. You don't even have to get the bleed from Kill Command. You can get the bleed from the Wildfire Bomb. You can get the bleed from Spearhead. It doesn't matter where you get the bleeds. As long as you have bleeding enemies nearby, you're going to get attack speed. So your attack speed is going to be ramped up really hard. Now, let's talk about the piece that brings everything together. I talked about your new little mini game with the, not really new, but the mini game of Shrapnel Bomb, keeping the bleed up with Shrapnel Bomb. The other little mini game is getting resets on Explosive Shot. So you're keeping an eye on your Explosive Shot to see if it resets from your Wildfire Bomb. The biggest little mini game that you're going to kind of be kind of paying attention to for Survival Hunter is Tip of the Spear. This has been dramatically changed and it's incredibly strong now. Kill Command increases the direct damage of your other spells by 15%, stacking three times. Okay, so this also gets buffed further by Flanker's Advantage. Tip of the Spear's damage bonus. Look at the last paragraph there. Tip of the Spear's damage bonus is increased by 100% based on your crit. So now I have a 15% buff plus my crit, which is 33. So I have a 48% buff. Whenever I press Kill Command, my next ability does 50% more damage, almost. That applies to Explosive Shot. It applies to Fury of the Eagle. Wink, wink. It applies to Kill Shot. It applies to Wildfire Bomb. It applies to a single target Mongoose Bite. It applies to Butchery. Anything, guys. Anything. This buff is really strong. And you can see the numbers. If we just look at our numbers here, my Fury of the Eagle right now does 665,000 physical damage. If I press Kill Command, it now does 952,000 physical damage. So, what does that mean? Well, it basically means that you now have a real incentive for weaving in Kill Commands in between every other ability that you're pressing. This is now the most important button that you should be pressing in between your other buttons. This was basically the playstyle they were trying to go for back in the day, but like there was not that, it just didn't do that much damage and it didn't give you this big of a buff. Now it does. And there's a very, very good reason to press it. You're going to have to get used to this cadence of going kill command, fury of the eagle, kill command, wildfire bomb, kill command, butchery, kill command, mongoose bite, you know, whatever the case might be. You really are going to have to weave it in there if you can. Because it's going to give you almost, you know, it says for yeah, there it is, forty three percent more damage. So, um, it, it's just very, very, very strong. This tip of the spear buff, and I think that it's just going to be really cool to get used to kind of the way that it works. It's almost kind of like playing a Windwalker monk in the sense that you're you're almost never going to want to repeat an ability that you just press because you're going to want to fill with. Uh, kill command in between all the abilities that you're doing. You really are going to want to be careful about repeating. So. That's the gist of what's happening with the Survival Hunter rework. I will show you a dungeon that I did. Um, just a little bit of footage here. From survival to finish, which is good. Let's jump in. This was me playing a uh, pack leader, I believe. Also, it feels like when you're in dungeons now, whenever you go into dungeons, it automatically summons your pet now, which is really cool. 
Was this, uh, or was this the arcane thing? Here's what I'm trying to do here. I just want to make a really quick caveat here. Pack leader doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as Sentinel right now. Sentinel is bugged. It is doing like triple the damage that it should be doing. So I tried to play without Sentinel to give us an idea of how Survival Hunter is doing without this insane, broken right now, bugged and broken hero talent tree. So I think I ran pack leader in this. So it's not going to do as much damage, but it's more like ethical, right? In that sense. These guys are cheating, okay? In terms of the damage. I don't think they're going to like completely gut Sentinel, but I, it's definitely going to get nerfed. It's doing way too much damage, okay? It just is. It's doing way too much damage. Here's an example of our defensives being really good again. I just pressed Exhilaration, and I put my Survival of the Fittest on now. Our damage is still good. Our damage is really good. We are absolutely going to be... We're keeping up with like Rep Paladins and some of the Warlock pulls that I've seen. Um, this damage is incredibly strong right now in in the um the current iteration of this now i just got a uh, yeah let's look at that really quickly i got my coordinated assault was ending you can see my coordinated assault is ending at that at the end here i'll get four explosive shots after this here comes our explosive shots explosive shot explosive shot boom 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 and you can see the damage is just really good so the thing with it as well if you explosive shot the same target over and over and over again it will detonate the previous explosive shot and just you're not going to miss out on anything okay you're not you're not wasting by pressing explosive shot on the same target multiple times yeah so this is what sentinel is looking like right now this is the other guy in the key he's doing you know 14 percent of his damage 26 percent of his damage 30 percent of his damage is coming from his hero tree that's not okay that's not what it's supposed to be doing it's doing way too much damage so just keep that in mind okay this is what mine looks like <laughs> oh that was the other guy actually so uh the aoe damage is really really strong guys I, I am i am more than happy with the aoe damage i think the single target damage is actually also good but look at this i've got my internal bleeding stacks going and you can just keep refreshing that over and over again i have 10 stacks of blood seeker right now my attack speed is at a hundred percent more right now a hundred percent attack speed so that is amazing to, to feel and to see and you can see our damage is outrageous right now even though i'm not running the op hero talent trees it just feels good it plays smoothly. The resets you're getting on Explosive Shot feel good. Um, coordinated Assault feels good as a one-minute cooldown. I love that. I absolutely love that. Weaving in these um, kill commands also feels good. That that feels fine. Um, and then our single target damage is also really good. I don't know if we're going to see it quite here, but... My opening burst is like crazy right here. Yeah, I don't know. My frames were being weird. Now they all got fixed. So, anyway... The single target damage is also going to be good. I expect Survival Hunter might cop a couple nerfs. Like, not major nerfs, but a few nerfs potentially um, one before the expansion begins. But the reality is, this is in real... You're in really, really good hands here. Um, is really cool. And that's what I did. Second, second off of my cooldown on... Uh, yeah, it's just really good. I'm trying to see if there's another example here. But let's try to get to a single target boss. Not this guy. Let's go to the final boss, shall we? Go to the final boss. Okay, here we go. Let me just back up a little bit. So here's the final boss fight. Okay, this is single target. I just want to show you pure single target because it's like hard to hard to show you that sometimes. We're in bloodlust. Okay, so we have like a this is like a real representation of what you might have in terms of your haste levels, and you can see it's just smooth, man. It's like kill command into my wildfire bomb into um a mongoose bite kill command mongoose bite throw those explosive shots out even if coordinated assault you know, even though coordinated assault is giving you explosive shots and those are primarily an aoe ability it still feels good um to press it on single target because explosive shot just does enough damage to warrant it like look at our damage right now 450k on a single target that's pretty good right now in the beta from what i've seen i'm i think that's fantastic now Again, these numbers are all going to change. I just want to give you a baseline idea and a baseline expectation of what you can see from this kind of uh, from Survival Hunter now, okay? It's just it's just going to look good. Here's our overall damage, 565k overall. Again, this Nectoria guy did 
way more damage because he had the hero talent tree, the uh, the arcane one, the um, sentinel one. So we still did lots of damage, and I think it's really good. This is what the breakdown looks like. Your shrapnel bomb and explosive shot and your other shrapnel bomb, the dot that you get, are your top damage. Again, you're throwing so many bombs and so many explosive shots that they're going to end up being a ridiculous amount of your damage overall, which I think is great. That's what Survival Hunter should be. We should be like a bomber class, right? That's what it should look like, and I'm happy to say that it will look like that now. So that's my little overview of the, the spec tree. Um, I covered basically everything I think that you really need to know. There's a few other talents here and there that can, can do stuff, but the reality is we are in really good hands. You have a really fun mini game with the explosive shot. You have a really fun uh, mini game with tip of the spear, buffing whichever ability you want to come next. And then the coordinated assault, one minute cooldown. The spearhead, one minute cooldown. The quality of life there is just so incredibly good. Bombardier is amazing. You could also take Relentless Primal Focus, as I said earlier, or Ferocity, sorry. As I said earlier, this is more of a single target raid talent. This makes your tip of the spear even stronger, like way, way stronger. And you can just dump it into like monster goose bites and get a crazy amount of single target damage so i think i'm going to experiment with this a little bit later in the week when the raid comes out um and we'll see kind of how survival hunter does in the raid but all in all survival hunter is absolutely back if you did not play this thing um if you haven't played it at all i mean it is amazing now it is eating good in the war within and you should absolutely give it a shot it also still has retained its mobility you have your harpoon you can disengage into a harpoon you can disengage into a coordinated assault that dashes you in spearhead dashes you in still like um flanking strike dashes you in you have three you have four different dash abilities in your talent tree like the mobility is off the charts it's really crazy so love the mobility love the rework let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm gonna keep doing uh more coverage of the other hunter specs as well so stay tuned for that thank you so much again for watching i love you all i will see you in the next one